So today we're going to be making this. So it's called Drive Ahead is what I called it. So I'm going to press my flag and I'm going to drive my car until I crash. So and when you crash you have to try to turn back around to go again. So we're going to show you how to, to do this. All right, Leah, so take us through. I think I'm recording too. Yeah. So I'm going to hit create to create a new one. So what's our first step? All right. So, Liam, walk us through. How do we make your car driving game? So you're going to delete sprite one, the cat. Okay. So we hover down, push the trash can by the cat. What's our so next step? Go into the, so you're going to... Go to the little cat, and then you're gonna push the paint button. Hover over the cat, push the paint button. Okay. So. What are we doing? Are we? Why are we doing this? We're making the car. Okay, we're making a car. All right. So now you're gonna click your rectangle tool. Okay. And choose a fill. Okay. So whatever color I want my car to be. Yeah, yes. whatever color you want. I'm gonna make mine purpley blue this time. Okay. I'm so, gonna make mine blue. So you're just gonna trace a rectangle. Okay. Done. This has to be a little wider because you have to fit other rectangles in it. Well, okay. So like like a, the windows and stuff? So kind of like a fat rectangle. Okay. So and then we're going to grab one other rectangle. So you're going okay. to grab your rectangle tool again mm -hmm. and then change its color. Yep. Remember to, before doing that, you have to change that. You have to tap it. Oh, okay, so, so click the background so first. Click okay. the black background after you uh, after you've done with your first rectangle, or it will just change the color of your okay. of your first rectangle. All right. So what color are these? The windows. So should I make them white or something? No. So you're gonna make it gray. Okay, great. So, All right. But can we choose you the color? Sure. So you make have your to windows whatever color you want. Sure. Black. Okay. So you're just I'm just gonna bring that down to zero. Okay. And grab a gray color. So, so now you're going to trace another one, but like a square this time, like a small sort of square. Is that the back window? Well, it's just, is you're the... only tracing the top of the car. Right, okay. So yeah. should I, I'll make that my windshield. Is that like yeah, that? You okay. have to do it there. I have to do it over here. Yeah. This is the back of the car? Yes. Okay. Okay, and then you're going uh, click to click in the background again, and then you're going to make once again another one. Okay. So you can choose the exact same color so you're going to use your little sword tool and hover over the blue cool so that's actually a dropper not a sword but it looks like a sword doesn't it okay so i got my blue so then you're gonna trace another small rectangle this, inside of your square okay so now you're gonna grab your line tool so you then you're gonna trace your line to the corner edges a black line to the corner edges and in the middle of the other one. And just do that with every corner. Okay. Just there, like that. Okay, okay, now we're done our car. Can I put some circles at the front to make headlights? Sure. Okay. Beep, beep. You should make that a color. Yeah, okay, I'll change the fill to yellow. With your costume of your car, keep on deck. You can decorate it however you want. All right, Liam. So what are we doing? We're going back to code. And we're going to... Get our when flag clicked one, okay. like always. And what, where is that again? Events. Events, okay. So, and then okay, we're going to put it right into our code. Yep. And then we're going to grab a motion block. Okay. And we're going to grab the go to one. Okay. And we're going to change that to minus 11 and 121. Okay, so it's going to put it mostly in the middle on the x-axis, so minus 11, and then 121. 121, so at the top. So Okay. And then now when so, we push that, it will go up there. Okay. So let's shrink it down. We're going to go under looks, and we're going to say change, set size to, and we'll say 10%. So I'm going to push my flag again. Oh, that's pretty small. So maybe I'll say 20%. There we go. That's a good size for my car. The point in direction. All right. So I'm going to go to motion. So now your car is beautiful. I'm going to say point in direction 90. So let's push flag. So it's already pointing in direction 90, which is 
the right side, right? Okay, it sets size 20 and sets a starting location for my car. Okay. That's great. So now we're gonna going to we're gonna grab our forever loop and put that right under the set size one, or if you did it the other one, okay. other direction, you'll just click that right under the Okay, so direction. grab a forever loop, sure. So, and then you're gonna grab an if statement and put that right into your forever loop. Okay. So now we're gonna go into our sensing and grab our one that says key space pressed and put that in our if statement. Okay. And then we're gonna change the space to left arrow. Okay, so we're gonna say if key left arrow is pressed, then, and what's it gonna do? Tell us what it's gonna do before gonna we write turn, the code. What do we want the car to do? It's gonna turn five degrees to the to the right. No, left. Ah. So it's gonna turn to the left. Okay. Actually. So we're gonna go into motion. Okay. And grab the one that turns to the left. Okay. And we're gonna change that to five instead right. of 15. All right, five degrees to the left. Got it. So we're going to go back into control. All right. And grab once another F statement. Okay. And put that right under the other one. All righty. So we're going to go back and grab our key space pressed and turn that into right arrow. Okay. If the right arrow is pressed, yep. Then what and do we do? And then we're going to go back to motion. Okay. And grab our turn... 50 degrees to the right. Okay. And then we're going to put that right on there and turn that to five. Okay. So we're learning some stuff here. We've learned about um, different uh, um, checking, about different sensing, like key presses in the past. We're doing this a little differently, though. We're always checking to see if it's pressing the left, left arrow and always checking to see if it's pressing the right arrow and doing something different based on that. So if I push my flag now, and hold down left, it rotates to the right. If I hold right, it ro sorry, if I hold left, it rotates to the left. If I hold right, it goes to the right or clockwise. So right is clockwise, left is counterclockwise, and it turns five degrees. Kind of like turning your car, right? Yes. Yeah, so That's cool. Of, so so we how, kind of how, made are we gonna make a drive forward now? Yes. Okay, what do we so do? We kind of just made like our own steering wheel, but we don't have gas pedals. Okay, so we need, we need that to have a car. Right, we need a gas pedal now, gotcha. So now we're going to go into our backdrops. Okay. And say paint we get, a new one. Are we going to do that before we make the gas pedal? Yes, okay. All right. So so click on our backdrops. Cool. Got it. Because you can't drive a car with when there's nothing like No it. road, right? We need a road. Okay, cool. So we're going to make an entire green huge rectangle. Okay, so I'm gonna make it green so hang on a sec. Color. So I gotta click, hit, click on backdrops here, right? Okay, and then I do it. All right, I was a little confused. So I clicked stage, then I clicked backdrops. Now I get my rectangle, and yes. I'm gonna make it green. Is that the grass? Yes, it is. Or you can make it gray for the road. No, you have to make it green. Well, let's make it green for now. That's what your brother says. Okay. So we're gonna grab. Now we're gonna tap Drive it. it the grass. Now we still have to grab it. Again, tap it. At, the other background because that will just change the color. So pull your anchor back for a sec. Never mind. Keep your anchor. You know what? The other thing you can do is just switch tools and switch to another tool and switch oh. back. So switch to another tool then switch back. Okay. Okay. And that and where the reason you're telling us to do that is so we don't accidentally change the green color. Yeah. Okay. Because we need it to be green. Okay. So now we're gonna make a gray color for the road. Okay. So take your um, saturation color all the way. The center one, all the way to all the zero. way to the left. Yeah. Okay. All the way to zero. Gotcha. So do now do? we're just gonna all the gray is the same because you can't change that. So you might want a lighter gray. So I'm gonna go for like a like a whitish gray. So like a very white gray, and then you're gonna trace another. We're we gonna draw a road now. Yeah. Just like this. Okay. Oh, like the whole way around? No, not the whole way. Just like that. Okay. All right. So we did so, that. And then gotcha. Click your backdrops. Okay. And now, I'm gonna just feel click free and click. to make your own road. So you're gonna grab the green color. So you're gonna. Okay. Back to the green color so, with the with the sword. So the dropper. Yes, yeah, so you can use the dropper and then put that right over the green. Okay. So that one has your green again. So and you're gonna trace. 
So basically, I, I put some more green, and that's grass where my car can't drive. Is that right? And always, if you always mess up, you can always use the undo button at the top. He's going to be your coding buddy. Your coding buddy, yep. Undo is my, my buddy and everything. Because I make lots now of mistakes. I put it to green. I put it... Yeah, so you want to draw more grass on the inside, basically. You know what I'm going to do for mine? Is I'm going to make a shortcut through the middle for, uh, for fun. Oops, hang on a sec. So i got to switch tools and switch back and then pick my gray color again and then draw. I'm gonna do so a shortcut kind of through the middle a funny one like this and you know what I'm gonna do is turn off the border hmm. okay so when you are done drawing your backdrops so like when you're done your obstacle course, okay, you can click back to code. Okay. Now when we click back, this is the code for the background. Do we want to click on the sprite? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna go down a little bit so that we have space. Okay, sure. And then we're gonna grab. So we're gonna go into control. Okay. I'm gonna so actually go into events instead. Events. And sure. grab the when space key pressed. All right. And then get the, and then go back into controls and get the repeat until. Repeat until. Okay, that's a different time of loop. We never looked at that yeah, before. Yeah. So the repeat until is kind of like it keeps on going. Until something happens. Yeah. So okay. like if you crash into the grass, it will keep on not letting you drive forward ah, okay. until you turn around. That's right, because it's illegal to drive on the grass, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And also, if you if you're like. If you try to drive on grass, it'll be very hard. Yeah, I think it could uh, could ruin the grass. All right, so, so when space key press, so space key is going to be our, our our gas pedal. We're not. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, it will. Okay. So, and then we're gonna go into sensing. Sensing. And touch the touching color one. We're gonna grab the touching color one and put it right into our repeat until mm -hmm. you're gonna click the color, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna press your. It's called a dropper. So you're going to grab your dropper and then tap the green color that you have okay. by using your dropper. Okay. And then you're going to push a move. So you're going to go into motion to grab a move three steps so that your car can actually move. Because if it, so now we're going to move the 10 steps to three because it will go like. It'll be too fast. Hyperspace speed. Okay. Or light space. So if we were doing the Millennium Falcon, then maybe we'd want 10 for hyperspeed. Da, 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 da. All right. So, so re repeat until touching green. Move three steps. So we're going to grab the exact same one mm -hmm. and then click it right under. Like, not under it, but we're going to put it under the re repeat. Now, do we want it? One. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So, and gotcha. then we're going to do minus three this time. Okay, so, so when I push space, it starts going until it hits something green. And when you push space, it will it won't let you drive. Okay. So here, so you're gonna push your go. All and right, then, let's see. But you only need to tap it once, and it keeps on going. So right. I tap my space once, and it keeps going. Oh look, I already crashed. Same. Oh. So and then you just have to turn your ro rotate your car, so you can start driving again. And it also stops your engine okay. when you tap green. Oh, Whoa. This, this is oh, harder than my look, last Look, the one. back of my car ran in there. I wonder so, if my car is too big. It's hard to make those corners, but it's a little more challenging than... Hey, if it's too easy... Oh, I crashed. You don't want it to be too easy. So. That's true. You can keep on challenging yourself by making yourself harder levels. You could, yeah. That's fun. All right, great game. Thanks so, for showing us how to make it. Like and subscribe to our video to see more.